This is a good question. The truth about being black gay. I'm British. I like this question. The truth, um, you want it raw? <laughs> Not that type of raw. Boy, I think I might claim you. Put my number in your phone, nickname you. It's Brianna, if you know my name, like Alicia. Still, he told his ex bitch, bye Felicia. Hit you on the ship, you a couple kicks. It can be hard at times but it don't really phase me to be honest i think if you just you just get to a point in time where you just don't really care and you don't delve too much in things and you just live your life and the more you just live your life and just do you day to day and act normal not even act normal just be normal and just do what you want to do how you want to do it when you want to do it and normal what's normal to you no one can't really tell you a damn thing anything that's indifferent that a man does is accused of being gay anyway so like it's just not even a big thing like who cares what well, everyone everyone's gonna have judgments we're naturally inclined to judge and have opinions we're humans but some people are just blatantly negative for no damn reason so it's just like whatever um being black is hard in itself as everyone knows that is black like it just it goes from an element of stuff from jobs to just life to just being in this country like nothing really works in your favor black and gay definitely hard in itself black gay and african at that it's just damn right near like a catastrophe to be honest with you you're like you're judged so much just being African. You're just already judged. Like, my dad used to put pressure on me, like, no one's business. And then to now come out as gay, like, that is just, I'm a disgrace. I'm a waste of sperm. I'm a waste of man. I'm a fine man. I'm just a waste of man. I'm a waste of oxygen. I must be a bastard child. Um, my dad or my mum must have done something bad for me to turn out the way I am. Boy, that list is endless about the type of things that people have called me. And it's so funny because most people that would say that would be happy beating their wives behind closed doors, feeling that it's okay to be promiscuous, feeling that it's okay to show favour to in front of their children, feeling that it's okay to be doing 419 and parading herself, being okay to boast and be greedy and defraud people and lie, take people for granted, you know. So once you get to the facts around the real truth, it kind of just like, it's whatever. If you think I'm a disgrace, fantastic. If you think I'm a sin, amazing. Good. Oh, let's not forget the Bible, because God said it's sin. Oh, God told you, right? <laughs> let's not even finish that story but if that's what you think i beg that's what you think he shall think it okay it's okay i'm not gonna tell you that it is wrong you can think the way you like okay think the way you like anything you want think you can think but just listen i exist and i'm here so whether you like it or not this is what it is if you don't like it I could not give a flying fuck what you like, what you don't like, how you like it, what you don't like, what's a sin, what's a not a sin. If you used to do divulge that much hatred and and put all that hate and all this your opinion into determination and motivation for you to be doing better for yourself, then your life wouldn't be so shitty to be focusing on stuff that has none of your business. That is how I see it. Secondly, being British, like, you know... White people seem open, but white people are not as open. Because you're British, but you're not English. You're British, but you come from Africa. You, just because you're black, you have to have come from Africa. When did you get here? Because you need to go back to where you fucking came from, mate. You fucking black faggot. You black cunt. You black... See, I'm British. My mum's British. And my dad's British. Which is kind of... You know, it's kind of uncommon to have that. Like, I, I don't know many black people that are like that. Um, but you know, I need to go back home. You know, if I was to go back to Nigeria right now, 
I have no idea where the hell I would go. So any time I got told I'm a nigger and I should go back home, I'm a black bastard, I'm a faggot, I'm a cunt, I always wondered where would I go? Because, I mean, I was born in New Am General and Plasto, you know, so the five doesn't go anywhere else. I mean, if I don't know if, if you need to be, I don't know what kind of visa I need to be on the five for it to take me to Nigeria because I never knew New Am General being in Ondo State. But, you know, that's where I have to go back to because I fucking came from there. It's like, okay ignorant bastard but we let that go you want to call me a nigger it's fine you just have to that's already hard because obviously you're in this country and you're just you're british and you're not english so you're always going to be seen differently because you're not white um but don't get it twisted because a lot of white gays have it hard here as well especially you sissy boy fucking faggots that's just like a lot of white people just have loose mouths they have worse mouths in fact than black people to be honest because they do it openly in public black people do it but they don't do it to that extent like i can't explain it like it's both wrong but it's just it feels more worse when a white person's talking to me like that don't know why it just feels worse you know not like it's happened anytime recently but yeah and then what is it being black gay and british being black gay and british and then being gay in general by your own community <laughs> coming out into this community it's not an easy thing people just take advantage especially because they see you as fresh meat so you meet a whole lot of people that never seen your face before that want to just show you off that want to get to be the first to get inside you say they claimed you and already throw your name around then you've got people that want to pretend to be your friends and not be your friends because they know that now you're fresh meat everyone's going to be interested in you they just want to hang up hang for that and then it's just hard to find people that are genuine that's why i always make i always tell people never to meet people online and take them off it's just always good to meet people in person so go out go to private and mingle and go to places you know and yeah it's just better like meeting people in person that are like yourself than meeting people online because people online are just ugh, just a big <clears throat> i'll never advise that but my overall experience of being black gay and african um i'm here right now Alive and kicking, talking to you, looking well. I mean, I need a shave, evidently. Oh my god, you see that dust come from my beard? Jesus Christ, one cloud over the cuckoo nest. But it is what it, life is what you make it, you know. You can either be down, depressed, and going on and on about stuff, or you can get up and live. Regardless if I was straight or not, I would still have trouble. You're either gonna keep doing what you're doing and not allowing anything to get you down, or how society thinks about you, or you're gonna mope and keep being depressed and keep going on and on and on and on about negative things and never moving forward, never progressing, never reaching the greatness that you deserve to reach because of how everyone else sees you and you're and you're now allowing that to manifest into the way you see yourself. I will never allow people's opinions of me at this age and this stage in life to ever, ever filtrate or get in the way of anything that is made for me like it's not gonna happen if you don't like what i'm saying good if you don't like the way i look good if you don't like anything about me you don't believe in any things i believe or you don't be good 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 for you good for you it's okay what nonsense do I imagine imagine the audacity of me having to take that on and then me allowing myself to to feel even less of a person because of your thoughts of me hey imagine me never in life never in life will i ever i did that once and it didn't get me anywhere but myself depressed you can be depressed you can be depressed by how happy you're seeing me think how happy you're seeing me how happy you're seeing me how much you're seeing me smile how joyful you're seeing me this big sin that i am is a blessing in your eyeballs and it is burning you isn't it ah seeing me happy that's how you need to think of people people aren't shit they don't matter the only person that matters is you yourself and this long as you keep this intact you remember what you want and you keep aiming for what you want fuck what society says people like there's so much stuff this world is not this world and this system unfortunately 
is not created for black people because in the eyes of someone we will always be seen as inferior and that is what annoys me being African and having my own culture make me feel like that just because of my sexuality that is the problem I have because I'm still a Nigerian boy I'm still a boy with roots that go as far as Ondo State I'm still a Yoruba boy and I'm very proud of it but my culture don't love me. Nigeria hates me. If I can go to Nigeria, the fact that I could be in prison, not because of what I've done or what I could have done or what or anything, just because of my sexuality. Do you know how much, how disgusting that is to think in this day and age I could be arrested for that? Any Arab country and they see that I could be stoned to death, still in this day and age, stoned because of my sexuality, it's a disgrace. And the fact that things like that are going on, but it's okay for other for people for to, for domestic violence to be going on, and for all the women to be blamed, for someone to be stealing a shop, and for them to get burnt and like burnt in, in burnt in, and shamed and beaten, for children to be born disabled, and because they're born disabled, suddenly they're witches or they're being cursed. I don't understand mentalities like that, and I can't divulge myself in that thought process when it comes to Africa because it's terrible. Like, I'm not going to make myself feel bad because if I have to go by every single little thing that I know is bad and that I've grown up seeing, we could be here to do the whole... I don't know how long we'll be here recording for. So, I'm not going to allow that. That's just what this is. It's double standards. And I love my culture. But they're fucking hypocrites. Very ignorant and will forever be biased. And to back up their opinions and their beliefs, they will always use the Bible in what way, shape or form to defend what they're saying because they have to be right. They have to be right. That's it. That's final. That's where me and my dad clash because he's so self-righteous and he always thinks he's right. Even if he's wrong, he has to be right. They have this, they have this thing where they're always right. You can never tell them anything else otherwise it'll be a problem. And that, with that state of mind telling men that you will it will it's gonna always forever be a losing battle and you can't allow that and the, the way I can't, i'm never gonna allow the way my culture thinks of me to undermine or suppress my hunger for the success and the place where i i really see myself and where i'm destined to be just because of what you think and just because you think i'm wrong and i'm a sin or how i am is whatever is disgusting is whatever it's not going to prevent me from being in love from wanting to get married from wanting to have kids from wanting to progress in a life in all the ways that you think is wrong because for me it's right and it's the way i see my life and it's the way that i'm inclined and if you can't accept that that is not my fault that's yours that's how people need to start thinking and stop caring so much about the bad things that people think and start just doing. That is my way to equality. Like, you never, fighting will never get you anywhere. Living your life freely and openly and if everyone's just doing that and you don't have to be gay or straight and all that to do that just live your life and the more people are forced to see indifference they have no choice but to accept it but you can't keep fighting and and campaigning and going against and doing this just live live that is the key oh my god me bothering myself all this campaign 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 ah shambhala so you know what this feels like? This feels like tropical juice. I can taste the banana. I can taste the pineapple, strawberries, the cherry, the grapes. And I look and I'm like, oh, oh 17 pence from Lidl. <laughs> Babe, life is what you make it. Everything is what you make. Oh my God, those chips burning. Hey, oh my God, those chips are burning. They're not going to eat them if they're black. But life is what you'll make it like that, love. Life is what you make it. And any, you can have anything you want. You can achieve anything you want. Because the only person that's really stopping you from getting anywhere is you. And like I always say, there's sectors that are not made for us as black people. But who's to say we can't get there? You might have to work a hundred times harder. But if you really want something, you have the power in you to achieve that. We're powerful. We are powerful.
powerful and so is our mouths and our beautiful skin and we are bold so i will never ever ever allow anyone even in my own culture even my own complexion to ever make me feel any less of a person or make me feel like any, i'm any less inferior to achieving the things that i'm destined to achieve just because you don't accept me for how i am i don't need your acceptance i don't need no one's approval i've lived 27 years on this earth without anyone's approval and when i tried to get it that is what that is when i was depressed because i was trying you keep you keep trying and you keep you keep working for things and you if you keep wanting acceptance you are just going to make yourself depressed because you're never going to get that you're never going to be fulfilled no matter how much of that you get so you have to put a fine line into what society wants and what you truly want and going against that is the best thing you can do proving people wrong is the best thing you can do i don't need to prove people wrong all right there that's just some people but for me i just do what's best for junior now because that is what makes me happy because it's really hard trying to always impress and please people that you're never even going to meet or that don't even give a shit when they're going to sleep. But I'm working so hard to do what for you? It's when, nah man, got to live your life for yourself because when you die, who's going to be fulfilled or not? What, what name is going to be carried and how do you want people to remember you? That's what you have to work on. I don't want people to remember me. Junior, he was amazing man. He always made people laugh. Every time I watched him, I just smiled. Like, I always felt like he was so relatable. He was always real. Yes, I can die in peace. You, yeah, that's, that's good for me. It's good enough. Good enough. Good enough, you know. Oh, yeah. Don't take me now. It'll take me 50 years time. You know. Yeah, man. Don't want to fight. There's been so much fighting already. Man, whew, I'm not going to. I'm not here to make a fight. Not here to do that. I'm ready to go.